What up guys, it's K9 the Gun Guy and I'm back here with another video and I know y'all see this beautiful AK sitting right here behind me. Well, before I start talking about this AK, let's go ahead and start talking about what triggers inside this thing. Right now, this is a binary disconnector called the Gopnik from Twin Bros and Pimby Industries. And guys, this thing is a fucking monster. Excuse my language, but it's mean. It'll drop into any AK. It comes with a standard and extended version. Uh, they, I'm pretty sure they will be releasing soon. Uh, I'm not going to speak on that too much because I'm not 100% honest on that. Like 100% sure, not honest, but 100% sure. So I'm not going to speak out on something I'm not, you know, going to be 100% honest on. But guys, this is an AK-12 gauge, guys, shooting this mean load right here. This is Top Gun Federal load. This is two, in, these are three and a half inch load. Uh, pretty mean. It's pretty mean. Uh, this thing, I will say, it don't like to use low brass. Like, if you run some high brass through it, that's what it likes to feed with. It's not the Gopnik, the gun. Not the trigger device, the gun itself, guys. This JTS-12 gauge, first bought it, I started running some cheapo target rounds through it, and I was like, this thing's a piece of junk. And then, I started getting some more. I threw some uh, buckshot in there, and it freaking kicked my shoulder. And uh, Me and a buddy ran some more uh just heavy heavy loads through it so kind of found out that's kind of what you have to do at first to break this thing in probably for the first 500 rounds i've heard people say so guys enough of me talking let's go ahead and show off what this thing does also guys here we are i almost forgot to mention this optic right here is also a review from ponty scopes nc ponty whatever i'm gonna see if this thing can handle what this 12 gauge throws at it and uh guys i know that's gonna be hard because they're gonna say well accuracy wise because it's 12 gauge it spreads but i mean still it should get it around in the ballpark and i mean if it's not then we'll know so other than that let's see if this thing can hold up and uh enough talking let's go ahead and uh let's get right into this let's lock this bolt back drop another round so i can have six shots let's turn that red dot up all right y'all ready Let's go. Yeah. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen that? I need to get a bigger mag, guys. These five rounders, they don't cut it for me. Man, this thing is mean. And yeah, guys, I kind of paused for a second because uh, I thought I outran the bolt. Because just like any other binary, it's very rare possible if you pull that trigger too fast, guys. You can outrun that bolt very quick. So let's go ahead and run up, load up these mags again and uh, see what this thing got. All right, guys, here we are. They've got a full mag loaded up. We're going to go for a kind of a speed run right here, see how fast we can run this thing. So y'all ready? Let's go ahead and get this. Ooh. I know y'all probably say that wasn't quick because I'm pretty sure I just outran the bolt. But man, this thing's a monster, guys. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. This thing just gets you pumped up whenever you go to shoot it. It's like a, a different kind of feeling. It's a 12 gauge. It ain't just a normal 7.62, guys. I mean, a 7.62 is still a kicking gun, but man, 12 gauge with a binary in it? Oh, man. That's wicked. That's freaking wicked. Let's let this thing cool off for a second, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we are. We're pretty up close. You see that piece of wood right there? Inside the tire? Oh, uh. Well, over here, yeah, y'all see that right in there. Well, that's what I'm gonna be shooting at. And I also wanna try to watch my finger because I want y'all to pay attention and watch the binary action on this. So watch for one pull and one on release. Oh, things are monster. So here we are guys, I've got her opened up because i don't try to be able to hear it but i'm not going to show y'all 
the insides are what it looks like. So each time I pull and each time I release, this trigger oh, is going off. And this is a JTS 12 gauge. So guys, like I've said, these things are mean. And these things are honestly, in a 12 gauge, that's just almost overkill. <laughs> Literally, guys, that's just about overkill. But it's fun. That's the whole reason I got it. It's fun. That's the whole reason I built it. It's fun. So guys, it's another reason to go over and support Twin Bros 3D printing and also big shout out to Twin Bros and Pimby Industries for this product. That was my review on the Gopnik in a JTS 12 gauge AK. And as far as this scope, or this red dot yeah i think it can handle it i also uh dropped it a second ago and uh it's handled it just fine but yeah guys it's a monster get you one